Welcome back, guys. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about attract mode, since a lot of us haven't really messed around in attract mode for a while, and there's a lot of new people jumping onto the attract mode bandwagon and either creating images or downloading images, whatever the case may be. So some people have asked about setting up controls in attract mode. So essentially what you're going to need to do after you set up your controls in emulation station is switch over to attract mode, which in your RetroPie configuration screen, there will be a button that says switch to attract mode. Switch on over, let attract mode boot up, and then make sure you do have a keyboard attached to your Raspberry Pi. And then what you're gonna do is press tab. And then as you see, we have the configure screen. So then you're gonna go ahead and go up to controls and hit enter. And then you're gonna go through, there's gonna be dependent upon the image, but dependent upon the base image, what you're working with, there might be some additional options in here, but we're just gonna look at the ones that are needed to navigate through attract mode. So you're gonna have whatever controller of choice, either plugged in USB or set up through Bluetooth and connected. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your keyboard and go to each one of these options. So you'll go ahead, go to back and hit enter. And you see it's it says you can remove input, escape. Any of these keyboard inputs, I highly recommend never removing them because you never know if you're gonna need your keyboard to adjust something. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to add input, hit enter, and then on your controller, you're gonna go ahead and press whatever button you choose. I'm gonna press B on my button, or on my controller for back. And you can, whatever's comfortable for you, you have to remember none of these controls are for games. These are just for navigating attract mode. So then up, I'm gonna go ahead and go to add input, press up, go to down, obvious, press down, on add input, left, press left. And now if you ever have an issue, say instead of, instead of left, we accidentally hit right, you can just hit enter on remove input and then add it again to make sure you have the proper input that you want. So here we go right, we're gonna go ahead and hit right on our controller. And then select is gonna be obviously to select a display or select a menu or game. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press A as my button for that control. And then you do have the rest of these that you know you can use as almost like shortcuts. Previous game, you know, sets the control that, to move to the previous game, next game, previous page, next page, previous display, next display, that kind of thing. The displays menu is one that you should enter. I'm going to use the start button as my display menu. And then the other one that I need to make sure that I have is going to be configure which is the menu we're in now, which is configured to tab to get into the configure menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and use select for that. And that is pretty much it for the basics to go ahead and navigate through attract mode, select your games, start your games up. Pretty simple stuff. Like I said, there's a ton of other options that you can go through and use, but just to get up and running, the, the ones we just did is the basic ones that you need to do. And then from there, we're ready to roll. So we can go ahead and navigate to a game with my controller. And go ahead and start something up and start playing. It's as simple as that, but like I said, you do need to make sure you have already set up your controls through Emulation Station if it's a fresh image or if you need to manipulate anything through RetroArch. But if you are already got that all set up and you want to switch over to Attract Mode, that is the basics of what needs to be done. So, hope that helped. Like I said, a lot of people were asking me about this lately, so I figured let's have a little quick refresher. It's pretty simple. Once you've done it once, you pretty much know what you're doing. So... Thanks for stopping in. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Boom!